Hi everyone! Welcome sa channel ko. Ako pala si Janos na Pinotech Dad. Today, pag-uusapan natin sa wakas itong Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition or Discovery Edition. Kasi Discovery Edition yung pangalan nito sa so watermark niya. Meron tayong tatlong bagay na pagtutuunan na pansin dito. Una dyan, yung 210 watts na fast charging. Pangalawa is yung performance niya with the new MediaTek Dimensity 1080 chipset. And pangatlo, yung 200 megapixels na camera niya na Samsung Isocell HPX. So maganda nga ba yung tatlong specs na yan at dapat niyo ba talaga abangan para sa 2023 pag ni-release dito sa Philippines, yan ang aalamin natin. So tara, quick unboxing muna and then papakita ko na sa inyo yung mga na-experience ko so far with the Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition. Alright, so yun po yung quick unboxing natin guys. Siyempre, pag-usapan na natin agad yung ports nitong Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition. Sa baba, nandiyan yung dual SIM card slot natin. Wala pong expandable memory card slot, microphone, USB-C charging port, and a down-firing speaker. Sa right side, nandiyan yung power button and yung fingerprint scanner. Volume rockers, nandiyan din. On the top side, nandiyan yung IR blaster, noise canceling microphone, the secondary speaker, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Sa left side naman, wala pong kaganapan, walang mahitang ports or buttons. Sa likod naman, nandyan yung branding ng Redmi and the 210 watts na label. So ito talaga pinakabida nila dito sa Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition. And mapapansin nyo agad guys na sobrang glossy nitong black na colorway na back panel. Grabe, fingerprint smudge magnet talaga siya. So, I would suggest na you slap on a case para hindi madumihan agad yung back panel. And also, isa pa sa mga highlights na, again, pag-usapan natin mamaya, yung main sensor niya. 200 megapixel Samsung Isocell HPX na camera. And then, meron din tayong 8 megapixel ultrawide, 2 megapixels na macro lens. Kumbaga, ganito yung nangyari. Anyway, dagdag ko lang, nakalagay kasi sa GSM Arena na aluminum yung frame nito. It's not aluminum, it's plastic. Malalaman nyo po kasi yan dahil wala pong antenna bands sa body nito. Sa front panel naman, meron tayong 6.67 inch na OLED display, 120Hz refresh rate, and walang pinanggit ko anong klaseng protection ang ginamit nila dito, whether Corning Gorilla Glass 5 or Victos or whatever. Thankfully, meron namang pre-installed na screen protector na kasama. And also, yung punch hole niya medyo maliit and this is a 16 megapixel na selfie camera. But anyway, let's go straight sa unang highlight nitong phone na to. So, isa to sa mga aasahan natin na magkakaroon ng global version. So, hopefully guys, meron talaga na 210 watts para sa global. If wala naman, yung Pro Plus nila meron namang 120 watts na fast charging. But still, this would be so much better sa global version. So, simulan natin with the charger. So, 210 watts, pero yung size niya, halos the same size lang ng charging brick na 120 watts. And how did they do that? Well, they used a GAN charger. So, gallium nitride. This one really allows you to have a smaller charging brick as compared to your typical na silicon na 120 watt charger. So, imagine if this was a silicon 210 watt charger, this would be so much bigger than what you're seeing right now. And also, along with that guys, dulo-dulo na yung USB-C na connection natin for our charging cable. So, gaano nga ba talaga kabilis ang 210 watts na fast charging? So, according sa mga test ni Xiaomi, umaabot ng 9 minutes from 0 to 100% yung charging time. Pero sa first charging experience ko mismo guys, na naka-on yung boost charging natin, inabot tayo ng 14 minutes from 7%. To 100%. And ito yung mga napansin ko. So first off, from 7% to 25% in just one minute. One minute lang. Super bilis. And that's because the first few seconds ng pag-charge nyo, naka-on or naka-boost na talaga siya to 210 watts. Actually, ang na-capture ko talaga sa video is about 204 watts 
na charging speed and it lasted for only a few seconds. So tingin ko guys, kailangan natin gumawa ng separate video for fast charging para mas maging aware lahat na pag sinabing 210 watts or 120 watts, it doesn't mean na nag-charge ng full 210 watts yung isang phone pag ginamit mo yung ganong capacity ng charger. It just means na kayang umabot ng 210 watts yung charger mo. And it doesn't have to last for the whole duration. It only has to last for a few seconds and counted na siya as 210 watts. Like what happened here. But anyway, going back to the Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition, pagdating naman po na 5 minutes, umabot na agad tayo ng 63%. So imagine nyo yun guys, nagsimula tayo 7%, up to 63% na in just 5 minutes. So I think dito yung drastic change ng charging speed kasi from the 1 minute mark papunta sa 5 minute mark, napapansin ko na around 140 watts yung charging speed niya. So, nandong range yung charging speed. And then, pagpalo na ng 5 minute mark, bumababa na to 100 to 90 watts yung charging speed niya. And then, it goes down palalo pag mas patagal na yung charging time mo. And it's also around this time, yung 1 minute to 5 minute mark, na napansin ko na medyo umiinit talaga yung back panel, yung sa battery area. So, umabot tayo ng around 43 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. So, nagre-range po doon yung temperature niya. Noong 10 minutes, nag-start na siya at around 30 to 25 watts. So, talagang bumabagal na. Pero nasa 95% na po yung battery capacity natin. Marami magsasabi, that's 5 minutes off sa estimate ni Xiaomi doon sa advertised na 9-minute charging. And I would say, siguro number 1, yung room temperature ko dito, hindi po tayo naka-aircon and hindi po nakatapat yung electric fan. So maybe the heat and the temperature really added to my charging time. And also guys, sapansin ko na habang nag-check ako every 2 minutes, pag ino on ko yung display, bumabagal po yung charging speed niya. So bumababa po siya ng down to less than 10 watts pag naka-on po yung display. And I guess this is a great safety measure na pag napansin ng phone na nag-charge ka, naka-on yung boost charging, and then in on mo yung display, that will add a lot of heat kung talagang sinagat pa rin nila yung boost charging. Now meron magtatanong for sure, wouldn't it be really bad for your battery na palaging mainit? And I would say, of course, it is. Kasi lagi naman natin sinasabi na ang biggest enemy ng battery mo, ng phone battery mo, is the heat. So kung mapababa mo lang yung temperature ng battery mo habang nagpa-fast charge ka, it won't really damage your battery. So siguro pwede mong gamitan to ng cooler if ever gusto mo talagang gamitin yung super fast charging niya. That will probably work because it will help dissipate yung heat dun sa battery area. Now, marami magsasabi na hindi naman natin talaga kailangan yung ganitong klaseng fast charging but I beg to disagree guys kasi merong mga pagkakataon talaga na kailangan nyo magmadali at nakalimutan nyo mag-charge ng battery nyo. This is a great solution. Hindi mo kailangan gamitin palagi yung super fast charging na 210 watts but in the event na kailangan mong gamitin, napakalaking bagay nung may biglaan kang lakad tapos hindi ka pa nakapag-charge, this is a lifesaver talaga. So I'm not kidding you, it has happened to me a lot of times and nagkataon na wala akong fast charging, ayun, tunga nga ako. Wala akong nagawa, low bat ako the whole day and hindi ako makontak. Based on my experience, usually pag nilalagyan nila ng ganitong klaseng fast charging, hinahati nila yung battery. Kung 210 watts yung fast charging mo, you divide that into two and your batteries actually get 105 watts each. So hindi po ganun katindi as what you would imagine. And all I can say guys is ang bilis na panis ng 180 watts na fast charging ng Infinix. So yeah, this is something that you should look forward to in 2023. And speaking of 2023, while hindi tayo sure na makakarating sa 2023 Global Edition ng Redmi Note 12 Pro Series yung 210 watts, I'm pretty sure na itong Dimensity 1080 ay darating na sa global version ng Redmi Note 12 Pro Series. Kasi last year, binigyan nila tayo ng very disappointing na Snapdragon 695 na very limited yung hardware capability, lalo na sa cameras na hindi kayang mag-record ng 4K video. So dito with the Redmi Note 12 Pro Series, kayang-kaya na mag-decode ng 4K video on YouTube, 
and kaya mag-record ng 4K 30 frames na video on your camera. But we'll talk about that later on in the video. First, let's talk about the performance and how it does with the throttling test and maybe some gaming experience na may babahagi ko sa inyo. So first off, ang tuto benchmark. Siyempre, yung expectations natin is hopefully nasa 400 to 500,000 range and luckily umabot naman tayo sa 440,000 ang tuto benchmark point. So it's right about the range ng Dimensity 920. So I would say this is just a slightly improved version ng Dimensity 920 and that's a CPU you throttling test guys i would say this is where i was truly impressed sa performance ng dimensity 1080 very consistent ang performance and very minimal lang yung throttling na nangyari nasa green lahat so it's a safe level if you're checking out the benchmark for cpu throttling but of course guys kalahati lang po ng story natin yung benchmarks Kumusta nga ba talaga yung actual performance? So, I tested a few games pa lang po. So, hindi pa ganun kadami or in-depth yung mga games na natest ko. But so far, ang tagal ko nilaro yung Tower of Fantasy dito. And I am just happy to tell you guys na hindi gaano uminit yung phone. Nasa 42 degrees Celsius lang kahit na naka 60 FPS ako. And yung graphics ko, sinagad ko talaga. And I really had a great time playing Tower of Fantasy. And natest ko na rin yung Mobile Legends. Although yung Mobile Legends, naka-high pa lang yung graphical settings as well as yung frame rates. For Call of Duty Mobile naman, meron naman siyang max frame rates. But you will have to settle for low graphics. Pero kung gusto mo ng better mix of graphical settings, of course you can use yung very high na graphical settings. So while Drift naman, wala pa pong 90 FPS. And then sa Apex Legends naman, nasubukan ko na for a few rounds and wala po akong lag na experience. Again, ang highest temperature na recorded ko is about 42 degrees Celsius. That's pretty good. Naka room temperature lang po tayo. Walang air conditioning. Siguro around 34 to 35 degrees Celsius in temperature. But of course, I have to spend more time with this to be able to tell you ano talaga yung mga specific temperatures for the games that I will be testing for this one. But so far, I'm truly impressed sa kakayahan nitong Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition. Panghuli naman sa pag-uusapan natin yung 200 megapixels na camera niya. Hype lang ba or is this a great improvement from last year's camera? And I would say this is a huge improvement guys. Napakalaki po talaga ng improvement in terms of quality dahil kung naalala ko yung quality ng Redmi Note 11 Pro series nako very disappointing in terms of picture and video quality. So hindi po talaga ako nag-enjoy lalong-lalo na na limited to 1080p resolution yung video recording na Redmi Note 11 Pro. Pero guys, tandaan nyo na itong 200 megapixel na sensor is exclusive dito sa Explorer Edition. So may chance na hindi po ito magkaroon ng global release. Pero ang magandang balita, yung non-Explorer version, eh meron namang Sony IMX766 na sensor. So based sa mga samples na nakuha ko, napakaganda ng HDR adjustment nito. Kahit na napaka-bright ng sky, kayang-kaya mag-adjust nitong camera ng Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition. And kung napunod nyo yun yung mga videos ko tungkol sa 200 megapixels na cameras on a phones, you would know na it's just a gimmick and it's not something that you would really use all the time, lalo na na sobrang laki ng file size pag ginamit nyo yung 200 megapixel na mode. Hindi lang po natin dapat tingnan yung 200 megapixel na hype. Tingnan natin yung actual photos and I'm showing you the actual photos and for me, very impressive po yung mga nakuha ko. Very sharp yung images and maganda yung color reproduction. 30 frames per second. Redmi Note 12. The video looks solid. It looks stellar. Problem is, I don't think there's any stabilization on here, but we'll see. We'll find out. As I'm doing a walking test, perfect sunny weather. If I stay put, the image looks really good. So if you use a gimbal or maybe just a tripod, you'll get good quality image. Oh, look at the HDR adjustment on this one, guys. Wow. Oh, look at those clouds. Hi guys, selfie camera. Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition. Adjust din naman. Ganda din yung adjustment niya pag ano, hindi nakatutok sa face. And then when you switch to the face, so yun, blown out yung background. But yeah, what so you can expect, medyo shaky. So walang stabilization. Ito yung maugat. 
Now, other things you need to know, again, itong Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition is China exclusive for now. But hopefully, magkaroon to ng global version. But it's not guaranteed na magkakaroon to ng global version. Ang sure lang ako na merong global version is the Redmi Note 12 Pro and the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. Pero kung gusto nyo nang bumili ng Redmi Note 12 Pro, may mga ililink po ako dyan sa description box. And also, pwede rin kayo mag-pre-order sa AHH Xiaomi Manila kung saan ko ito nabili mismo. And siguro may mga nag-aalala sa inyo na paano yan? China ROM yan? Wala bang Google Play yan? Meron pong Google Play ito. Open nyo lang po yung Xiaomi Get App. And then, i-update nyo lang po yung Google Play doon. And voila! Meron na agad kayong Google Play. Pwede na kayo mag-install ng kung ano-anong mga gusto nyo install from your Play Store. And also, ang maganda pala dito is that it's Widevine Level 1. And hindi ko nga pala na banggit yung display. Hindi natin napag-usapan. But in the full review, ipapakita ko po sa inyo na maganda po yung display nito. OLED 120Hz. This is a great phone to look forward to. Lalong-lalo na para sa mga nag-aabang ng global version for next year. Yes, next year pa po dadating yan. So at least, di ba, nabigyan ko kayo ng very small glimpse ng preview ko ano yung makikita nyo for next year's Redmi Note 12 Pro series. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video at nakatulong sa inyo just in case na kinoconsider nyo kumuha ng China ROM version ng Redmi Note 12 Pro series. Again, Nasa AHH Xiaomi Manila yung pre-order. Pwede po kayong kumontak sa kanila sa Facebook. And kung gusto pang manood ng mga videos ko, may mga ililink po ako dyan. I'm sure marami kayong matututunan. And hanggang sa susunod, ako nga pala ulit si Janus ng Pinoy Tech Dad. Kita-kita ulit tayo.